Yo, 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 what up everybody? Welcome to Wine Talk, it's Martin. I'm here to give you a couple uh, wines that I'm drinking tonight, picked them out, especially for this occasion to uh, show to you all. Uh, first off, the one I'm sipping on already because I like to uh, start with my whites. Uh, we have a little Macon Village Cave de Lugny. Um, Pardon me if I butcher that for all you French speakers out there. So we have a little bit of white Burgundy. This is, uh, Burgundy is the region that really got me first um, fascinated with wine, um, really complex. It's been going on for years and years, especially Burgundy. Um, you know, it was grown, the grapes were grown by monks and monasteries, really cool history and story to it. I won't bore you too much, but they make some really delicious stuff. Been doing it for a long time. Um, in the Macune, especially, it's very Tawar specific in Burgundy. So in the Macune, you get a lot of limestone, uh, clay, soil, and that's going to give you perfect soil for growing Chardonnay. So that's what we got tonight. We got a little Chardonnay, drinking it. Um, this Chardonnay, probably shouldn't tell you people, but I guess I, I will. Um, end of bin sale. So if you get it before I do, I hope you enjoy it. Um, $8.99. Uh, usually $12.99, but terrific deal. This is some good juice. Um, on the nose, you're definitely getting that, that um, you know, that mineral earthiness to it. Some stone, a little wet stone, a um, little hint of some white flour, a little bit of butter, but not too much, not too much oak or anything, really clean. The palate a little bit fruitier, you're getting more of that stone fruit, that apple, um, that a little bit of apricot, pear, um, really good stuff. It's gonna go great with any fish, um, seafood. Chardonnay is actually one of those wines though that goes good with even steak. If you're if you like white wine, and you want to go, you want to do, you know, meats with it. You don't like reds. Definitely go for Chardonnay. Nice acidity, um, really cuts through any fats. So check that out. Um, Got to do a red as well. For the red, we got. Um, you know, this is hot, it's been hot for the last few years. We have something from Etna Rosa, Mount Etna Rosa. It's an active volcano um, near Sicily and Italy. The grape they use primarily is Norello Mascalese. Um, cool stuff coming out of this region, really popular right now, but they've been doing it forever. Um, let's pull it up. Pull up. Uh, so, yeah, real classic on the nose. The classic kind of um, scent that you get is, um, you know, kind of like a, a mineral mineralness to it, but kind of like a uh, alkalinity. It's smoky. Um, you know, you get you get a little bit of a metallicness. That's what I was thinking. A little metallic, but. Really, what really shines through it nicely though with that, to blend with that, is this really just solid, soft, sweet fruit. Um, especially like strawberry, raspberry, like almost in a jammy sense. So you get the perfect blend of this metallic earthiness from the volcano going with just a really good um, fruitiness. Um, I know that they don't use too much oaks, so you're just getting really a pure expression of the tua. Uh, which I love. So um, this wine is really going to go good with, um, it's pretty versatile, has good acidity as well. I would do like a good stew with this for sure. Um, could you, it, it's a steak wine for sure, but like a nice good stew, uh, pot roast, something really hearty, great for this cold weather. Um, like a braised, something braised, braised lamb shank, um, braised anything really. So this one is, uh, the bottle is from 2015 Altamora. Um, good stuff. I think like $17.99 at Binnie's. So you got the Norello Mascalese from Mount Etna Rosa, Italy. You got the Cave de Lugni, Macune Village, um, White Burgundy, Chardonnay, one of my favorites, $8.99, can't beat it, go get it before, there, I saw like maybe four or five um, bottles left, I love end of bin sales, I was thinking about grabbing more, but I held myself to it, um, but that's another wine talk, signing out, 
Hope everyone's smooth. Drink your wine safely and have a good night. Cheers.